And we think this might be because of those stars that blow themselves apart at the end of their lives instead of collapsing down to black holes. I guess it begins with Einstein's theory of general relativity that originated kind of back in 1916. And he predicted that we should be able to detect on Earth uh, gravitational waves that come from mergers of really compact objects. So that was kind of proven to be correct uh, in 2015 when LIGO detected the first gravitational waves from a merger of two black holes. Since that first detection, we've now managed to detect about 161 of these mergers confidently. So the vast majority of these events are mergers between two black holes. But really interestingly, we're still not exactly sure how these systems form. There's still a lot of uncertainty uh, behind the stars that turn into these black holes. So we've had this theory for a while uh, that really heavy stars, uh, instead of collapsing down into a black hole like lighter ones probably do, um, they would uh, instead experience these really, really violent supernova. And as a result, they'd be completely blown apart and essentially leave nothing behind. So we predicted that that might happen for stars that would typically produce black holes of about 40 times the mass of the sun or more. In our data, uh, we've actually seen a drop off in the merger rate for black holes that are above about 40 times the mass of the sun. And we think this might be because of those stars that blow themselves apart at the end of their lives instead of collapsing down to black holes. So yeah, this new data might actually be giving us the first uh, indication of this process happening in nature.